New at six, she was seriously hurt getting her hair done at a Detroit business. And tonight, the city is shutting the place down. We've learned a hairstylist was running a salon out of a clothing store on Detroit's west side. And she placed a hairspray can too close to a heater. It exploded, sending a 14-year-old girl to the hospital. Sean Lay, following this story, let's get back to him outside Children's Hospital. You broke this story, uh, and now the city's launched an investigation, Sean. They have, after we asked some questions of the city about this, Tanasia Brown remains here at Children's Hospital. She's only 14. We found where she was badly injured, a mini salon, one chair in the very back of a clothing store up on Six Mile, and the city says tonight they're shutting that place down. 14 year old Tanasia Brown remains in Children's Hospital. She suffered face fractures and lost sight in one eye after a can of hairspray exploded in her face. The teen saw a young woman on Instagram showing off her hair work and she booked an appointment. That stylist alerts customers that she is unlicensed and says it was her fault that she placed a container of highly flammable, got to be freezing spray near her hot curling iron heater. Something salon owners in this area say a licensed stylist would know not to put anything that flammable near something so hot. Tanasia's mom says the stylist didn't seem too concerned that her daughter was so badly injured. She was a bit nonchalant, had no concern. She says, I'm so sorry. I'm only 23. I don't have a license. We searched up and down West McNichols looking for the salon where Tanasia was injured. We found it. It's not a salon. It's in the back corner of a clothing store. Customers tell me the stylist mother owns. And since we broke the story yesterday, a mom who took her daughter to the same stylist before her prom says the stylist allegedly offered her daughter marijuana and alcohol. Tanasia's mom says her daughter is now speaking more in the hospital. And today she told her the stylist was allegedly smoking marijuana when she arrived and allegedly offered it to her. David Bell is the director of the city's building safety and engineering department. He tells me tonight, quote, we are currently investigating this matter for now. We believe it's best to close the facility and defer to the state's investigation into the licensing of the cosmetologist. We asked the clothing store owner and the uh, stylist to speak with us again today. Devin and Kimberly, no response. Back to you. We'll stay on it, though. All right, Sean.